our Lauren Zima had a chance to sit down with Robert England, the man who brought Freddy to life, as we celebrate that movie's 35th anniversary. Do people call you Freddy when they meet you? I get that a lot. I get, I, I get, you know, hey, Freddy, yo, Freddy, at a stoplight, a lot of that, yeah. <laughs> it's Mr. Kruger to you, punk. Come to Freddy. Super scary Robert England would play Freddy Krueger in seven more films after the original in 1984, turning the horror movie villain into a pop culture icon. Ah! The film was also the big screen debut for one future A-list actor. By the way, uh, we got a clip of young Johnny Depp here. Give me your full name and correct spelling first. My name is Johnny Depp, D-E-double-P. Oh, look at him. He's such, he's such a baby face. Yeah, he was the most polite young actor I'd ever worked with. Would you say that his death scene was the most violent? It's certainly one of the classic kills in the uh, nightmare vernacular. Also a classic, this house. Located in LA, it would be the site of Freddy's reign of terror. All right, we're walking up to the house. It looks the same. <laughs> you gotta I check. I'm, I'm wary of those little girls with a jump rope singing that song. One, two, Freddy's coming for you. Do you get transported back a little bit to those late nights of shooting? <laughs> there was an incredible stunt we did where in one of the nightmares, the girl Nancy, Heather Langenkamp, they had her stunt double it's upstairs on that side come out of the window. And look at this. It took England four hours to transform into Freddy. We were with him back in 1985 during one of those famous makeup sessions. You know, there's so many special effects in a, in a horror film and you kind of got to get the jokes out because you've got, you know, you've got tubes going up to your pant leg and up your bum and out the sides and, there, and there's blood squirting and I'm wearing goat bladders under my latex makeup to make my head expand. And, and it, it's kind of ridiculous. Because it is the time of reboots. Who would you choose then to play the new Freddy? I heard that there were some discussion of Kevin Bacon. I've heard this rumor. I don't know how true it is, but uh, I think that would be an interesting choice.